Okay, here is the French chicken and broccoli casserole. Hi, Noodle. That's not for you. Hey, I'm Christy, and today we are going to make French chicken broccoli casserole from this old recipe tin. This is part of the recipe tin project, which you might have seen on 12 Tomatoes before. We've done a few things from this old box like Great Nuts Custard, which turned out to be really good, Vina Nelson's chocolate cake, I think there was a fruit cocktail cake, there was jellied chicken gumbo, which I don't recommend. We've added a few recipe cards to this tin over the last year or so, but to begin with it was kind of a medley of different people's recipes. It wasn't, it didn't appear to all be one person's collection but it's been really, really interesting and exciting to give these recipes new life so they aren't just sitting around somewhere collecting dust. This is just a few pieces of paper that have been folded up with different uh, recipes on them. There's pineapple pie. We did that one already. The vast majority of them have cream of mushroom soup or cream of chicken soup. Um, there's maybe two or three that don't, and so today I chose one that didn't, this French chicken broccoli casserole. It's not a huge ingredient list. It's written on an unlined index card in red ink, and it's clearly well-loved. It has a fair amount of uh, water drops and stains. So it has a pound of broccoli, three to four cups of cooked chicken, and then uh, it appears that that's just cooked in sort of a cheese sauce. But uh, interestingly enough, this cheese sauce is thickened with cornstarch, which is not what I think of when I think of a French um, cream or cheese sauce. Usually that's a roux with flour. So we'll see how that turns out. It's a quarter cup of cornstarch, so I hope it's not gummy. And what else? Oh, it has diced pimentos, and it calls for old English cheese, or grated cheddar. I couldn't find old English cheese, so we're going with cheddar, which also doesn't strike me as being very French. So we'll just have to see what makes this casserole French at all. Here we go. Everybody loves a chicken and broccoli casserole, right? So to start, you want a pound of fresh broccoli sliced into spears and then steamed. I don't exactly know what a broccoli spear is, so I went with a floret with the stem still on and then just sort of slice it thin, and that should work. Um, so that's already been steamed and is good to go. Uh, then it calls for three to four cups of cooked chicken, skinned, boned, and torn into bite-sized pieces. So that's that, and then we make the sauce. So that starts with a third cup of melted butter. It appears you can just start with the melted butter and then stir everything together to cook, to make the sauce. You don't actually have to cook it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and melt the butter in this saucepan and stir everything together in there. So once that's melted, it calls for a quarter cup of cornstarch dissolved in a half a cup of water. And that should definitely thicken that sauce right up. That's quite a bit of cornstarch. Butter is melted. I'm gonna turn off the heat. Um, I think I was thinking of this like a roux and assumed I would need to do the butter on the stove and then whisk in the cornstarch, but that it actually doesn't say anything about that. It just lists out sauce and then all the ingredients that go into the sauce. So I'm just going to assume that we stir them together. So third cup butter melted. Then we've got the quarter cup cornstarch in the half cup of cold water. And we'll stir that in. And then you can use a third cup chicken broth or a third cup white wine. I'm going with wine. a quarter teaspoon salt. Yes, that's right, yeah. 
That doesn't seem like a lot of salt, but we'll see. And a quarter teaspoon pepper. Two cups of milk. All right, a jar of diced pimentos. I think I've used pimentos like one other time in my life. The jar itself looks like it's from the 70s. Um, but the use by date is luckily not from the 70s. So it doesn't say if you're supposed to drain them or not. So I guess I won't. Oh, every meal becomes a big deal when you add dromedary pimentos. We'll see. They smell zesty. Those are gonna go in there. Also the cheese. I wonder how this is gonna turn out if you were supposed to cook it or not. Hopefully it thickens up and the cheese melts nicely just in the oven. Um, I'm skeptical, but hopeful. All right, that's all together for the sauce. And then what does it say? Ha, huh, you know what? That's why you always read a recipe card closely the whole way through before you start to cook. It does say you're supposed to cook the sauce. So I might have screwed this up. Okay, here's what it says. In a saucepan over medium heat, combine melted butter, dissolved cornstarch, broth or wine, seasonings, milk, and pimentos. Cook until thick and then add the cheese. So, I've already failed, but hopefully it comes together okay. Now we'll just cook that until it's thickened. The sauce might break, because I already added the cheese. Whoops. Oh boy. While that's thickening, you are supposed to layer the broccoli spears and chicken pieces alternately in a greased nine by 13 pan. This is Ada. <laughs> I brought my 9 by 13 pan. So the recipe calls for layering the chicken and broccoli alter alternately. Um, I don't know that there's gonna be enough to do like stacked layers, but we'll go ahead and try it because if you did it alternately in lines, I think that would be a little odd. And if we just end up with one layer of chicken and one layer of broccoli, it's not the end of the world because it's all covered in cheese sauce. We'll put in a layer of broccoli. It seems like it's gonna be a pretty broccoli heavy casserole. And usually a casserole like this, you would expect it to have rice or potatoes or some sort of starch. I'm actually not gonna use all the broccoli because it won't fit. <laughs> And it seems like a lot of broccoli for that amount of chicken. So the chicken and broccoli are layered in the casserole dish. The sauce is actually working out okay. The cheese has melted. It hasn't thickened yet, but um, it hasn't broken. So that's good. I think once it starts to bubble, it'll thicken up nicely. And then after that, all you do is pour it over the chicken and broccoli and bake it. Okay, the sauce is thickening up nicely and it looks like I didn't ruin it. It kind of reminds me of like, like a Velveeta cheese dip because it's that same orangey color and it has the pimentos in it, which once again does not seem French. It doesn't seem gummy yet either, so the cornstarch might work out just fine. Okay, I think that's gonna do it. I'm just gonna pour this over the chicken and broccoli. over everything. Maybe I'll try to smooth it out. I wonder why there's no extra cheese on top. 
top. That seems like a necessary casserole thing. Like if it's a cheesy casserole, why not put more cheese on top? That's the best part, right? All right, chicken and broccoli casserole. We'll get that in the oven um, and pull it out in 35 minutes. Okay, here is the French chicken and broccoli casserole. Hi, Noodle. That's not for you. No. Um, it looks pretty good. Chicken and broccoli in a cheesy sauce. Can't really go wrong with that, but we'll plate some up and see how it tastes. All right, here we go. Chicken and broccoli casserole. Yum. It's good. It tastes kind of like um, broccoli cheddar soup. I still don't think it's very French inspired, but it's a good casserole, so that works. The cheese sauce with the broccoli is especially delicious. The pimentos aren't that noticeable, but they add just like a little bit of extra zestiness. Um, yeah, I'd call that a win. All right, thanks for watching and happy cooking.